Welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray on ESPN 790 AM. Brought to you proudly by the Tennessee Wildlife and Resources Agency. Hey, good Saturday morning. Welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray. Hello to all you good folks in Brownsville, Tennessee on News Talk 101.5. Jackson, Tennessee on News Talk 101.5. Brownsville, 1520 AM, 95.3 FM. I say this every Saturday mornings, and sometimes I get them mixed up, but they don't care. You're listening out there. That's the main thing. Two weeks from today, two weeks from today, the 20th anniversary. Been on the air 20 years in two weeks. and uh, Oh, wow. That's we, going to be fun. Re- it's going to be a fun show. We're going to have lots of things going on during that show. But this is iCast. And as I said earlier in the show, send me an email at lroutdoors at att.net and tell me what iCast stands for, okay? Uh, we stumped Ron uh, recently, and it stumped me. So I had to go look it up. I'm not sure any of our guests today know what it stands for, but maybe they do. Hey, but... you know what I'm going to do, Larry? What are you going to do, Ron? I'm afraid. I'm going to ask our next guest for a hat, <laughs> and we're going to give away a beautiful hat if to somebody... whoever can it's... identify and say first what ICAST stands for. There you go. How's that sound? That sounds and good. And our, our next guest. Well, I, well hold on now. The, wait, wait, hold on now. This is a new hat. It's not one you've been wearing, is it? I want to make sure, you know, Ron. Uh, you could tell if I was wearing it, it'd have a sweatband. <laughs> <laughs> All right, introduce no, this next guy. And, and our next guest, so happy to have uh, uh, the one of the co-founders of Hook Fishing Gear. Uh, also, they have another division, Nomad, which everybody knows about, but uh, had the pleasure of spending some time talking with uh, Josh, and I got to tell you something, all of the new parks that they have knocked me down. Good morning, Josh. How are you? I'm doing well, and I thank y'all for having me, and I want to say congratulations on 20 years. That's, that tells a lot about what you got going on here. Well, I appreciate that, uh, Josh Reed, and I know that uh... – We've uh, spent a lot of time with the, uh, I know when Marilina was, if I'm not mistaken, uh, and, and braced me, there was like four of you guys or three of them. What was it uh, when you guys? It was four of us. Okay. Yeah. Uh, ben, I remember Ben. I can't remember Ben's last name. And uh, uh, and then uh, Doc, I think it was a Doc. Reed. Yeah, Doc Reed. He was and, my brother. That was your brother. That's what I was going to ask brother. you. Okay. And then, of course, Jason Hart is everybody's brother. I mean, you know that. <laughs> so, right. uh we know Jason from this show, but uh, ICAST this year is a little different. So uh, you guys have uh, really expanded. It's a bit amazing. You got I, I, I've watched a couple of podcasts with you talking about where y'all were and where it started and where you are now, Josh. And it's uh, does, does it sometimes you wake up and wonder is this really happening? I mean, because it's, it's, every day. I mean, it's been a pleasure and. You know, we're very blessed to be able to be in this space and outdoor hunting and fishing world and, you know, to be able to start a company with great people and great, you know, support from people like yourself. And, you know, it's just one big family. So since we started that thing back in 2014, it's been a rocket ship. And, uh, you know, it's just been the support from everybody like yourself and, and Ron as well to just drive, you know, what we're doing. Well, we've been talking rocket ships the past couple of weeks with, uh, uh, Jeff Bezos and all these other guys going up in rocket ships. I think when it comes to uh, what you guys have done it, y'all are in the outdoor industry, rocket ship. And I think uh, all of y'all guys are in that uh, that lunar landing, and you've you've just zoomed out of sight. But uh, yeah, so- and Larry, you know, one of the things that I was impressed with was uh, just walking around the hook booth and seeing some of the new styles, the new fabrics that uh, Hook is coming out with. Uh, Josh, tell our listeners some of the new items they can expect to see this fall. Yeah, so, um, you know, we got this fall, we actually have launched an outwear program. <laughs> Amazing. Um, from, you know, it's basically a, a shell jacket and it has a three-in-one zip-in you know, fleece liner. Yeah, yeah. Um, to, to just, you know, the basic everyday fleece that you just want to wear to keep comfy when it gets cool. So um, we got some great things out for fall. And, you know, here at the show, what you've seen, Ron, was, you know, we got two new series. You know, the Icon series was something that we built the, the business on, but we've elevated it again. Um, it got to have always have something new. 
And so we came out with a, a new series called the A1A. And, A1A. You know, that, you know, yeah. A1A. And that's, yeah. the, you know, Vanilla Ice A1A Beachfront Avenue. You know yeah. how that goes with yeah. that song. Uh-huh. <laughs> but yeah. uh, it's definitely nice and breathable. And that's our highest, you know, highest breathable product that we got on the market. Um, it's going to be launched out in January of next year. And we're really excited about that. Um, and then we, we took it on, you know, sustainability of our environment is really important. For right. Us. So, um, you know, we, we produced another collection called the Waypoint Collection. Um, it's currently on the market, but we've we've introduced some new styles in there as well as um, a, a polo because um, everybody wants to look good from the boat to the bar. Yes. Um, right. But, you know, that that's just taking, you know, it's making shirts and not throwing that stuff on the shore. No, so, you, I've you know. seen them on the golf course. I mean, yeah. Uh, oh yeah. Those, those of us, that Josh. Try, yeah. Tell our listeners a little bit about the Waypoint Collection and what the materials you're making these wonderful pieces of apparel out of. Pretty amazing. Because yeah. that's a great story. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's definitely you know when you think about a plastic water bottle, you know they take those things and they recycle and build little pellets out of it. Uh-huh. Um, they take those pellets and they make yarn. And at the end of the day, when they when they knit these things together, they produce a beautiful, some, the shirt feels like butter. It's really soft. Um, it still has the UPCF protection oh, in it. Yeah. Um, and, you know, it just feels great on the body, and you just don't want to take it off during the day. Um, so, uh, you know, it's one of those things we're really proud of, but, you know, it's it's comfortable. Yes. That's the key. Everybody likes their everybody likes their you know boxers and everything else that's close to skin. Well, these shirts and shorts, um, they really do a great job keeping you cool, keeping the sun off of you, but making you feel good. Well, it's pretty amazing. Like I said uh, again, we're talking to Josh Reed, one of the co-founders of Hook, and of course uh, part of the Nomad Outdoor family, based out of. Uh, of the uh, same place that they've always been there in Charleston, South Carolina. And uh, I know we had on here, oh, a month or so ago, Casey, the artist um, that was drawing all the fish on your shirts, if I'm not mistaken, or something. Uh, That's exactly right. Casey yeah. is just a wonderful guy. Wonderful interview. He continues, to, <laughs> yeah. he continues to help us grow. <laughs> and, you know, he keeps us ahead of the competition with whatever he does. And, well, that's what you guys you know, are thinking, aren't you, Josh? I mean, you're, yeah, you've got to stay I, ahead of the game. And outside the box. Let's, let's talk. That's because, right. Because, I mean, this is a competitive field you guys are in. I mean, if, whether it's camo, whatever it might be. And, you, and, and I think... Uh, uh, these things, you're, I'm sure you're already looking for, as you said, next year down the road. Things, I, are you? We're already working on fall 22. Are you really? So, yeah. yeah, we're we're currently selling in spring 22 as we speak, and wow. we've done a lot of that right now already. But you know, some of the people have, have seen what we've developed, but we're already working on fall 22 and starting to think about what spring 23 is going to be. My goodness! Um, so what, you know, so it's what, ahead of the game. Where are we at product numbers? product numbers yes in, in what way do you how many you how many items oh, how God. many skus oh, yeah. Lord, yeah. I have. Yeah. oh lord jesus we have, <laughs> how many <laughs> oh at least you know when you drop it down to a style color level you're talking at least two thousand okay 3, 000 at least. I, have you been asked that question before because that that <laughs> yeah. I, I spent three years in retail when i retired from the newspaper business Hey man, I know all about it. Okay, I work for yeah. a sporting goods fund company here in Memphis, and I know all about those uh, SKUs that Ron was talking about and things. And I, I, I know you mark. I know things up. There. Yeah, I know mark up and all the different things. But uh, the amazing thing is about this, and, and and I know you were glad to be back in Orlando. Ron was glad to be back down there with oh, you gosh, guys, yeah. and I'm I, I'm I know it wasn't it quite as big as it has been as some of our previous guests but just to be back how did it feel to you guys josh to be back at agcast after what you went through last year yeah well you know we had we still had a great year um you know as far as business wise with people and you know actually gaining more people in the market space um you know kayakers and paddle boarders yes and people who haven't picked up a fishing rod for 30 years yes um with they fish with their grandfather but they haven't done it since but they're teaching their kids so it's a blessing to have them back in the space yeah but to be at back at icast i mean it's it's been it's been a wonderful experience you know everybody's got a smile on their face everybody's happy 
you know, they're trying to get more product, but, you know, supply chain's a, oh. a course of an issue. Yes, so, yeah. Uh, everybody's feeling that crunch right now. You remember mm-hmm. your first iCast? I do. And I mean, we came out like ninjas on that one. <laughs> I tell you what, everybody, was, they knew where we came from, but in the same note, they didn't know what we were doing, and all of a sudden, it was just, that's how that thing blew up on us. It did, so, it though. I mean, they, they thought you didn't know how to spell either. I mean, you know. <laughs> that's I mean, exactly right. Well, heck, you know, they say you're from South Carolina, you went to Clemson. Oh, no, you know, I wasn't going to bring spell. that up, and you brought it up. <laughs> <laughs> I know you brought it up and here it comes now, you know, but, uh, That's Hey, right. again, we're talking to Josh Reed again, one of the co-founders of hook. And I think everybody out there in my listening audience know how the proper spelling of hook is and that it's H U K. Okay. I mean, that's, uh, that's, right. that's, that's the way it comes about and everything like that. So, so Josh, we appreciate you taking time, buddy. Uh, folks, you can go to hookgear.com, nomadoutdoors.com. And and check all the stuff that's coming out, and 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 I know that uh, I know Ron was glad to see you. We're glad to hook up with you, Josh, and tell absolutely all, tell and tell all your your coworkers and uh, all the other folks that Outdoors of Larry Ray's been a supporter of you guys for a long time, and we're always good to have. We need a guest. We know where to go to. Okay, buddy. All right. Hey, buddy. I really appreciate it. Thank y'all for all you do. All right. Thank you, man. Have a great day. And I got your. I, we got your cell phone too. I even got your email. Hey. You better look out, hey. man. It, it's coming. Give me, give me a shout. It's coming, buddy. All right. Thank you, Josh. Okay. All right. Let's take Thanks a break. So going to close out this uh, time with Ron. He's going to step away for a while. We're going to bring in Bill Cooksey back. Ron's going to take a breather. Then me and Ron are going to come back with Samantha Gabe. Close this baby out on outdoors. Mm-hmm. 